Dear God, Scooby-Doo, what did they do to you? Apparently they couldn't teach an old dog new woke tricks. It's blinking. Our family's lawyer blinds her. So the dog had to go. And the new Scooby-Doo show. Janine, any calls? No. Any messages? No. Any customers? No, Dr. Venkman. Type something, will you? We're paying for this stuff. Well, I guess actually it's the Velma spinoff. So at least they kept something. But still. And? The flowers are still standing. Okay, I'm... I mean, this looks like another IP not handled well. Oops. Right. And I personally think it's because a dog is a man's best friend. What has that got to do with it? Back off, man. I'm a scientist. And apparently, according to just about every mainstream writer these days, men suck. I look out there at all of you wonderful guys and I say to myself, what I wouldn't give to be 20 years younger and a woman. So once again, the dog had to go. He hoofed and he popped and he signed an eviction notice. I mean, honestly, I bet they wanted to castrate poor Scooby like he was some poor helpless five-year-old in the public school system. And Raven's egg, blood of a hen, a little bit more blood, yes. Testicles of a newt. I guess he's a transsexual now. <laughs> And Scooby just wasn't having it. The writers are like, well, Scooby, if you won't allow us to castrate you, we'll just change the focus to Velma. They've taken the castle. I thought it felt a bit drafty. Oh. And Scooby's like, well, that's fine. You just do that. This never would have happened if your father was alive. He's dead? Yes. And my mother? She died of pneumonia while... Oh, you were away. And we'll see how popular it is. My brothers? They were all killed by the plague. My dog, Pongo? Run over by a carriage. It, it's, it's not going well, is it? My goldfish, Goldie? Eaten by the cat. My cat? Choked on the goldfish. I don't know, but whose idea was it to write this show? Latrine's? Such an unusual name, Latrine. You mean you changed it to Latrine? Yeah, used to be shit house. It's a good change. We have a story to tell. Please lend us your ears. That's disgusting. I mean, honestly, I don't think the writers are gonna be able to land this one. You know, I've personally flown over 194 missions and I was shot down every one. <laughs> Come to think of it, I've never landed a plane in my life. But, disclaimer, I've never actually seen the show, so this is just a random, meaningless rant. <laughs>